Hey there everybody, it's Hunter Avalone here, and today's video is going to be a really serious video, because today we are talking about the absolutely horrific story of a five-year-old boy who was fatally shot in a senseless act of violence. This story is honestly so heartbreaking, and as someone who has children, as someone who has a son, this really hits home for me, and just reading the news, it almost caused me to literally break down in tears because of how horrific this story really is. Last Sunday, a little boy by the name of Cannon Hittent was shot in the head and killed in front of his father's South Carolina home. A neighbor came out of nowhere and just, for some reason, decided to shoot the little boy who was simply riding his bicycle with his siblings. I'm not gonna tell you the killer's name, but he was a 25 year old black man who, again, out of nowhere, decided to just kill this little boy. In fact, Cannon's father even said that he was friends with the neighbor and had even invited him to attend dinner with him in the past, and then out of nowhere, he murdered his son. Absolutely fucking appalling in every conceivable way. Here's a picture of little five year old Cannon who was tragically murdered for doing absolutely nothing wrong. Thankfully, this story is now getting a lot of attention and so many people are stepping in to try and help. Their GoFundMe account has raised over $700,000 and in South Carolina, there is a mural that has been set up to honor the five-year-old boy who was shot and killed while riding his bike. The 25 year old monster that killed this little boy is in prison. He's facing a first degree murder charge. And even though it's nearly a week later, we still don't actually have a motive for this horrific and senseless act of violence. Reports also have emerged suggesting that Cannon's mother will seek the death penalty. And you know what? That right there, it makes me really happy. I'm pretty iffy on the death penalty. I've seen a lot of horrific stories about people who uh, are not actually proven guilty, still getting sentenced to death. So I'm very iffy on the death penalty. Personally, I'm a big proponent of rehabilitation. I think that for virtually any criminal, they should have some chance at being rehabilitated. However, I also think that there are some people who just need to be put down. And I think the killer in this story is one of them. A disgusting crook who out of nowhere decided to murder a five-year-old boy by shooting him in the head execution style in front of his young siblings outside of his father's home? Yeah, that fucker deserves to be put down and rotten hell. The story of this poor little boy is absolutely tragic, but the tragedy is even deeper than that because there are plenty of people right now who are politicizing this horrific act of violence. Conservative blogger and right-wing mouthpiece, Matt Walsh, he tweeted about this incident and said if the races were reversed, everyone would be talking about this for a month, but instead, no one is talking about it. Conservatives like Tucker Carlson was asking why the media was ignoring the murder, while an on-screen banner during Friday's broadcast of the Ingram Angle asked, where is the outrage over the slaying of Cannon Hinton? Even Donald Trump Jr. claimed that large news media outlets were ignoring the story, but as of Monday, the Washington Post, the New York Times, CNN, the Associated Press, People, USA Today, The Daily Beast, and BuzzFeed News have posted stories about the murder, along with local affiliates for CBS, NBC, Fox, and others. So this is a little boy who was murdered in a senseless act of violence for doing absolutely nothing wrong. And the first thing the right is now talking about is, look how hypocritical the mainstream media is for not talking about this. Th they talked about George Floyd, but they're not talking about the little boy, despite the fact that there's been multiple stories posted on virtually every single mainstream media outlet. What happened with George Floyd is horrifying and terrible, and what happened to this little boy is horrifying and terrible. Why are people on the right trying to compare these things? People are outraged about 
both of these senseless acts of violence. And you can be upset about both without being some form of a hypocrite. Even Candace Owens, who might actually be one of the dumbest people in the entire world, tweets out this headline that says, funeral held for five-year-old Cannon Hinton, who was fatally shot while riding his bike. And she writes, I'm confused. Why doesn't this headline read, funeral held for unarmed white five-year-old who was fatally shot by black man while riding his bike? All of a sudden, race doesn't matter? First of all, Candace, why the hell are you trying to start a race war? Second of all, I thought that conservatives were the ones who were always complaining that race was brought into the equation. So, so it's so funny to watch the script flip here. And now all of a sudden we have conservatives demanding they actually do talk about race. Lastly, no, it's not that all of a sudden race doesn't matter. It's that race had no bearing on this horrific tragic act of senseless violence. Even Cannon's own father said that this is no racial issue. And the grandmother of the boy who was killed told the Washington Post that she can't think of a reason why that seems plausible. Even the family is denying that this is a racial issue. It's not. Sometimes white people kill black people and it's not motivated by racism. And sometimes black people kill white people and it's not motivated by racism. Let's stop trying to be overly reductionist here and let's stop politicizing this little child's death to try and obfuscate from the other tragedy that is also George Floyd. Another thing that's important to remember is when George Floyd was murdered, for example, that is indicative of a statistical problem showing that black men are more likely to be victims of police brutality. George Floyd's death was indicative of an overall problem that is very heavily based on race. Race matters in that story. When it's a little boy who is tragically murdered by a black man, race doesn't necessarily have bearing on that story. Candace Owens' comments are really bad too. Look at this one. Black privilege, the ability to break every law in the country and still remain the victim. Um... Yet, this kid's killer was apprehended within 24 hours, he's in prison with no bond, and there's a very high chance he'll get the death penalty. So, I guess his black privilege really isn't working out too well there. What happened here is an absolute tragedy, and we should stop trying to politicize this boy's death, and instead, come together as America to condemn the killer, to pursue justice for this boy and his family. This is not a racial issue, so let's stop trying to make it one. This story is honestly horrific, and it makes me think how I would feel if my child was murdered senselessly, and then on top of dealing with the horrific loss of losing your own son, next you have to deal with a bunch of conservative dipshits trying to make this about race, trying to politicize the death of your child. Everything about this story is horrific. Everything about this story is a tragedy. Give this video a like, comment below, and share this video. I have put the GoFundMe in my description below, so if you guys want to donate and help out, that would be fantastic. Thank you everyone for watching. Let's continue fighting for justice for Canon Hittant. Thank you everyone. Peace.